David Fincher, sure. Gone Girl, Seven. Uh, I wonder if he uh, has seen the script. I sent it to his people, a query letter, and they requested a uh, copy of the script. And I, I hope that wasn't for uh, just so I don't quit writing. But you send 100 query letters and uh, six come back unsolicited material and maybe two come back. Uh, sure, seven Jewish weddings and seven demonic murders. All in the same movie? Yeah, I'll read that. So I think the story is very promising. I can, I can help you with any details. Uh, it's out there. People can read it. Uh, yeah, I pitch it. Seven uh, Jewish weddings. All the characters are Jewish. Two families. There's a, a lot of families, but two major families. Uh, the bride's uh, named Sarah, and the groom is named Toby, and it's the eighth wedding. Uh, Sarah has lost seven husbands immediately to a demon, demonic murders. I mean, the, the poor, uh, the girl's new husband is killed right there where he stands, under the tent, uh, maybe a few minutes later at the reception. Maybe he's leaving the reception to go on the honeymoon and he's killed. They never reach the uh, marital bed. Well, uh, Fincher should be interested in 1.5 billion with a B. Uh, Catholics, Orthodox Christians, and Jews who know the, the story of Tobit from their religious texts and their religious training. Catholics, there's about 1.3 billion worldwide. 70% of them speak English. And huge growing Catholic populations in Asia. Uh, a lot of people want to break into the Chinese movie market. This might put them, uh, the Catholic Church, over the edge in Asia. Uh, they're giving the uh, communist Chinese, the atheists in power in China, fits. Uh, the Chinese uh, Catholic Church is doubling every few months, and uh, uh, they could be it could be the fall of the Ch Chinese communist government. Give them time, and uh, you'd have to have some idiotic Chinese leaders that can't manage it. But uh, I can see that happening. Uh, the Chinese Catholic uh, Cardinal in Hong Kong is named Zen, Cardinal Zen. He's uh, hugely powerful in bringing a lot of people to the Catholic Church. Uh, this is a uh, Catholic movie because of the audience. Now on screen it's a Jewish film. You realize it's, it's the book of Tobit is in the Old Testament. It's in Catholic and Orthodox Christian Bibles. Uh, a lot of Jews, the attentive public, Jewish people who pay attention, paid attention in school, know this story. Uh, maybe they have a deeper religious training, but everyone knows. Well, one and a half billion people know there was a girl, a nice Jewish girl from a good Jewish family who was married seven times, and seven times a demon comes and kills their husband. And they're taught this as little kids. So they remember it, I promise you. Uh, eight, ten years old. The, uh, the nuns leave the part out about the consummated marriage, and unconsummated marriage, and the empty wedding bed. That's left out. But uh, even little kids uh, know what a wedding is. They know... Uh, what a widow is. They just have to ask a few questions. But they know there was a lady that lost seven husbands because of a demon. And uh, 
You know, at that age, uh, demons are entirely scary. Uh, many, many a film has been made uh, featuring demons. Uh, I don't think any from the Bible. Uh, the devil, of course. But uh, what about uh, the demons? Uh, I think demons are mentioned more in the Bible than the actual devil. I mean, they have more screen time. Demons have more screen time than the devil. So we're familiar uh, with demons. And a huge number are familiar with Tobit. Um, so you got the, the demographics. Uh, the characters really have to be likable. Sarah, the bride, has to be likable. If we're going to watch a woman married seven times in a movie, she has to be likable. I doubt we care much about her family or brothers and sisters or who's going to be the maid of honor. Or We don't even care about the groom that much. It's, it's hard, A wedding is hardly ever described as his day. Um, it's her day. So we have to have uh, an actress with more than a little gravitas. Um, Sandra Bullock could do it. Uh, Reese Witherspoon could do it. They're very likable. Uh, we like Sarah because she's endured this ordeal and it hasn't broken her spirit. She will persevere and uh, be married an eighth time to Toby, who might be a little apprehensive. But Toby is accompanied to London by Raphael. Raphael is an angel, but it's not entirely clear. Uh, but his friend Raphael, the angel, says to him, hey, she likes you, you like her, explore it, talk to her. You guys want to get married? I will not let any demon interrupt you. And uh, he has so much power. Uh, the participants believe him. And sure enough, I don't want to ruin the story for you. It's in, it's in the Bible. Read it. It's eight pages. My script is 98 pages. But every one and a half billion people know that Gabriel uh, kills the demon, rolls him up in a uh, ball of rope, of naval rope, the, the big thick rope that uh, you moor ships to a dock. Rolls him up like a ball of yarn. Pushes him down the hill uh, into the Thames River. He sinks to the bottom. No more demon. So the last of the, the film is Supernatural, Angels vs. Demons. Uh, more than half of it is building the characters of Sarah, Enduring the Seven Weddings, the Demonic Murders, Tobit is in uh, Amsterdam, a pious Jewish man, good man, 80 years old, uh, pious, charitable, takes care of strangers, takes care of fellow Jews, takes care of his family. This whole story is because he uh, is trying to take care of his family. Tobit goes blind and has to send his son to... Uh, London. In London, he meets Sarah. So it's hard to keep the two apart, but there are a lot of hurdles that have to be, that they have to overcome before they can get married. Uh, Toby wants grandkids. Uh, Toby is his son. Toby wants, kid, wants a wife to have kids, and Sarah uh, wants to have kids. And uh, this is a theme in the Bible, and I think for the entire history of Judaism, uh, Jews have uh, been interested in procreation. Uh, everybody's interested in procreation. Come on. But, uh, and I thought it was a stereotype 
from comedy or whatever, the grand, the Jewish grandmother wanting grandkids and harassing the uh, young uh, Jewish couples to have kids. Hurry up and have kids. Uh, and I thought that, well, it's just for television and st books and, st and stories. But uh, there are only uh, 25 million Jews uh, globally. And I think Jews can count if they want to keep uh, the Holy Land, to keep Israel, uh, they're going to have to have uh, populations. Uh, it's a closed religion. They don't go out and recruit and uh, they uh, don't convert a lot of people. So the, what So what do they got going for them? Grandkids. So this is, the audience will be largely Catholic. I think Protestants will be there uh, because of the likability of the two main characters. And it's a good story. Uh, Catholics and Protestants have put their differences aside a long time ago, in the 19, beginning in the 1920s. It's gotten better ever since. Uh, Catholics and Lutherans used to be here, separate on the uh, religious spectrum. But now they're neighbors because of all the extremes, uh, extreme Islam, extreme Protestantism, extreme uh, non-denominationals, uh, cults. So all that competition, and let's just view this in terms of uh, market economics. Uh, because of competition, Lutherans and Catholics are closer together. So there's not that big, there's no reason not to make this film. Yeah, I know for 100 years it wasn't, it hasn't been made. There was a silent film uh, Tobit, based on the book of Tobit. But uh, all those, I think, and I asked a Roman Catholic priest in Dublin, an Irish Catholic priest, why he thought uh, Tobit was never made into a movie. He said, uh, American uh, anti-Catholic anti bias. And I said, why American? He said, well, it was the Americans' idea to take Tobit out of the Bible. He said in 1923, he said, isn't that suspicious? 1923, the Catholic Church... Up the Lutheran Church in America starts moving Tobit and some other books from the Bible. Uh, World War One. So my Catholic friend, uh, preacher, uh, clergy, clergyman in Dublin, uh, said, puts it in terms of not theology or doctrine or anything like that, but he put it in just, just pure politics. Uh, and uh, my, my Lutheran minister friend says, uh, nah, politics had nothing to do with it. It's all about magic. It's all about theology and doctrine. And uh, Luther, Martin Luther, in the 1500s, during the Reformation, wanted Tobit out of the Bible, and I said he didn't get it till 1923. Well, it took it took some time. Uh, right after World War One, and he said, "Well, Americans are typically conservative, and they don't want to change. They didn't want to change the Bible, but they took like four books out of the Bible." And now the Catholic Bible and the Protestant Bibles aren't the same. A Tobit is in uh, well over a billion and a half Bibles. So it's out there. I asked a, uh, no, I, a different streaming platform asked me, I don't remember what the question was. The answer was, sure, read the Bible, read the book of Tobit, and then read my screenplay. And you can get it. Just email me. I'll send it to you. It's not that big a deal. And I had a guy 
email me. I want to have a Zoom meeting. I thought, well, maybe we're getting somewhere. And the purpose of him looking me in the eye was to tell me, don't give that. Don't send your script to everybody. And I said, why? And he said, they'll steal it. And I said, it's in the Bible. Dude, one and a half billion people know the story from when they're little kids. Uh, it's 3,000 years old. And uh, I thought I was a smart ass, but... Uh, My story is identical to the Bible, except for place and time. Uh, and you call it Toby. You can't change the name without ruining the marketing. So don't even think about changing it to uh, Seven Jewish Weddings or Seven Demonic Murders or Sarah's Weddings or This Movie is About Sarah. Uh, it has to be Tobit. Uh, Sarah is the lead female, but the actual protagonist pushing all this along uh, is Tobit. He wants to take care of his family. So uh, uh, David Fincher would be a great director, producer. He knows friends. He could, uh, he knows enough gravit Hollywood gravitas to get this done. You can't put... Uh, just anyone in the role of Sarah or Tobit. They are the most liked, likable characters in the entire Bible. I've seen a, uh, about as scientific as you can get, a study of likable care, likability. And they ask questions like, who, uh, which Bible characters would you like to have dinner with? Which ones would you allow to uh, babysit your kids? Who would you like to drink a beer with? And on a per capita, not a per capita, on a per page basis, sort of like per capita, uh, Tobit gets eight pages, but and uh, all the other characters get, major characters get more. Uh, Noah, Moses, uh, Abraham, they all have more pages. Adam and Eve, they have more pages. Uh, but Tobit only has like eight, but uh, ranks right up there above and above Noah and Moses on a per page basis. So he's likable. Uh, he's pious. He's charitable, takes care of people. And he's doing all this because of his family. So it's actually a family movie. Disney. <laughs> well... I did. I, I pitched it to a guy who had uh, read a different script of mine. And I just told him the uh, what I just told you about uh, the religious aspects of it all. And he said, they won't touch it uh, with a 10-foot pole. Well, that's Disney. It's, and they probably shouldn't. I, 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 uh, I would recommend against that. But... Uh, I think Disney has uh, brands separate from itself. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they got query letters. I write 100 and uh, then go to the next project. So if Tobit sells, uh, that's great. I think it will sell once people realize uh, there's a 1.5 billion uh, people that expect it. And Mr. Fincher knows, he ought to know about consumer demand and uh, making movies that people expect. If they see it in print and never see it on streaming on the, or on the big screen, uh, it's, a, it's a serious injustice. It upsets the uh, supply and demand and... Uh, uh, it's a tragedy that a, a story like this, if you, you know Mr. Fincher or anybody in his uh, sphere of influence, in his uh, camp, uh, 
I, I can give you a 10 second pitch. Seven Jewish weddings, seven demonic murders. If that doesn't get his attention, I, I don't I don't know what. I, I'm glad you brought his name up. I probably overlooked him. I'd have to look and see. Uh, and maybe maybe send him a query letter if he didn't get one already.